All right, guys. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's not so much a review as kind of a build vlog, because uh, right now we've been working in uh, one of my Facebook groups uh, on building a kind of general mobile suit, grunt suit type uh, group build. You know, everybody picks a uh, a grunt like a a Jim or a Zaku or a Grays in particular, <laughs> uh, and basically you build it, and then by the end of October, we all put them together and we get our grunt build. It's not really a competition, but it is at the same time. I mean, I don't think we're gonna win anything, but um, it's just build build your favorite kind of grunt suit. If you want to customize it, go ahead. If you want to build a straight version, just paint it up nice, whatever. You know, it's just a fun thing that everyone can kind of uh, participate in. You know, everyone gets to basically be on the same page and end up in the same place, I guess. So, because I've been on an IBO kick lately, if you can't tell, um, I wanted to do a custom graze because it's basically the grunt suit of IBO. And in one of the other face, excuse me, one of the other Facebook groups, a few months ago there was a Graves build off, and I couldn't participate in that because our apartment flooded and we had to move suddenly. So I never got a chance to actually start that build and complete it in time. So that's kind of a combination of these two builds for me. So I'm building my custom Graves for our uh, grunt suit. <laughs> group build. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show off my custom grays. As it currently stands, it's not painted yet. It's not quite done construction yet either. So this is what I'm working with. And it is a major grays kit bash. <laughs> Mind you, that's not the name. <laughs> I kind of have given it the name uh, Grays Kai Bata or Bata. Um, if you know a little bit of Japanese, bata means grasshopper. And with these swords I've got here, they look very much like grasshopper wings. So that's what I was going for. So it's either going to be a Grey's Kai bata or Grey's Kurabata or Kurai bata, so dark or black. Um, obviously it's not black yet <laughs> or dark colored. I have not painted it. These are the still the same colors that it came in as I've been kit bashing it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can see what I've really been doing to this guy. So, for the most part, the legs and lower torso are uh, straight up uh, Ryusei Go. Because that's just, that was just color matching. Originally, I had the gray Schwab thighs here with the boosters. But they were inter actually interfering with this custom uh, crotch piece I made. So you can see here, this is the Schwalbe Gray's main crotch, but that usually has the fixed winglets there. So I actually added the uh, Ryusei Go's uh, actual uh, crotch skirts, or front skirts. Just had to carve that out, basically. And while it moves a little bit, it doesn't move the direction it should. So you move the leg up and it wants to fight it. But if you tilt it back just a little bit, it actually will rotate out of the way. Kind of, mostly effectively, it's kind of fighting. There it goes. So you can get your leg articulation back. And it still has that. I mean, it looks funny, but there are actually Gundams that do that. For the most part, they actually will rotate the side skirts backwards. Um, and of course, you can see one of the major custom details are these swords. This was from one of the uh, builder's parts sets, obviously the sword set. And I've been trying to find something to do with them for like the last few months since I bought it. These were kind of made to go on the forearms of the uh, build strike or a regular strike. So it actually had a flip out gimmick and I just removed the flip out part because it all just kind of goes together, glued the handles here and you can actually pop, just slide it right out like that. And then these are of course four HG hands. So it's a little tight but it'll go. I swear it will go in that hand somehow. There it goes. Okay. It was just fighting me. Some of these Gray's hands don't like to go together. So essentially all I really did, I started out, I built the Gray's frame and built it bare and then worked outward from that and just letting things inspire me. Now I had the idea for these shoulder armors already and I just kind of had to figure out how to make it work. And the uh, keen eye observers will know 
These are actually the upper thigh armor of a graze. You can see it right here. And these are actually the shoulders of a standard graze. Uh, but of course the uh, graze ritter comes with all these spare parts. So on the graze ritter, you don't use any of these parts here. Obviously, because I, if you watched my review, excuse the noise from outside. If you watched my review of the uh, graze ritter, Never mind that review hasn't come out yet. <laughs> okay, if you watch my if you watch my review of the Gray's Ritter, you'll see that you know you don't use these parts. So this particular chest piece right in here, you don't use. You don't use the standard little Gray's head there, and you don't use these shoulders, and you don't use these extra backpack parts because normally a Gray's comes with four of these. You know I'm only using two on my Ritter, and of course we'll just. Go ahead and talk about the backside since we're here. And you can tell that is just the Ryusei Go backpack, but I've added these boosters like this. Normally these come straight out of the back. All I really did was cut off the little extensions there on the uh, thruster bit. So it still moves. It's still pegged in there, just not all the way through. I just wallowed out the holes and inserted that. And then, of course, you see back here, this is the Ryusei Go uh, butt skirts. But this is not. This is actually the crotch. Crotch armor of the uh, where you say go. Just glued it back here because the center main thruster there, it got moved to somewhere else. And then we'll talk about some of the other details that I've got going on here. You see that I've created some extra <laughs> ankle armor. And of course that is clearly uh, a gray's head. On both sides and of course you see here this is where the other uh, Gray's Ritter helmet went so that you know that'll be painted eventually it's not hopefully it won't stand out as much on the finished product now mind you I still want to add some extra armor to these legs they're a little too plain for me so I'm thinking about just cutting up some of the other spare armor I've got and just plating it a little bit and I do have some big thrusters I'm going to add to the back of the calves so this thing will be very very maneuverable and if we come up to the chest, we'll get a nice, nice close up of this chest because I'm proud of it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, move, watch your sword there, buddy. And you can see that is clearly the, uh, you know, the center part of the gray is just layered there like ribs. I wanted it to be like ribs or like the vents that you would have on a Gundam. Kind of thinking that. In a way that's almost like a radiator, like the reactor would be right there, that you know, the Ahab reactor. And thinking that maybe that they uh they're trying to sort of build their own version of a Gundam out of a Graze. Not to be confused with like the way the Graze Kai is, but I'm sorry, the Graze Ein. And then of course you see right here, this is an extra piece. This is off of the normal Graze, if I remember correctly. I was gonna use the Graze Ritter version, it didn't want to fit, so and then this here it's all glued together now i did make it to where this piece is removable but the problem is it's so big it fills the area that you would normally have the torso crunch so you still get the waist movement but you don't get the ab movement it actually completely fills that area but that's okay and you can also see that with these armors here i had to trim it down because of the large v-fin more or less that I added there and of course you can easily recognize that as the Schwalbe Gray's claw and that's kind of where I started I started with the aesthetic of wanting these on the chest and these on the shoulders and I basically let it develop organically from there so that's this is what we've come to and then one of the last minute ads because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with the head I did not want to leave it plain is of course that and this is of course the Schwalbe grazes command antenna or crest whatever you want to call it but i'm basically using it almost like a little you know little tactical antenna on the side there kind of like a pat labor would have and then uh this little piece here i'm kind of you know proud of because that was a hard hard piece to basically make happen um if you can tell me what that's from mind you most of this is kid bash from a graze if you can tell me what just that little gray piece is from, uh, you get a thousand points. Eventually the points will add up to something, I swear. Um, but a thousand points to anyone who figures out what that actually is. And we will come over here to the party piece, this custom rifle. And of course you can see that the main body and frame of it 
is the standard Gray's rifle, but took it up a notch. So you've got the ammo clips here. You've got this added on piece here, cut off the handle on top completely. You can easily see what this is right here. That's the Schwab Gray's thigh armor with the rocket booster still there. That's the rocket booster right there. And I did leave this peg here because I was originally going to do the uh, Gray, Schwab Gray's booster skirts there. But I think I'm just going to actually make a hole on the backside. And this can peg into for storage so it can dual wield its own sorts. And, you know, we were talking about it. This is where the Reusig goes butt thruster ended up. And I saw that and I went, that is a gun. If anything, that is a gun. So it was a little bit of creative carving. Slid that down over the rifle front and this is clearly the Ryusei Go's basic head or actually really basically the uh, the uh, head of the uh, Gray's Kai but the pink version and then I took the barrel of the rifle and actually cut it off like I said I didn't cut it off I didn't just plug it on rounded it off and lowered it down on the front this piece was actually left over from it's not even from a weapon it's like a, an extra peg from something else. I just carved it to fit in there. So now it's got an interesting, like a larger caliber weapon and then the smaller caliber rifle together as one. And uh, honestly, I'm proud of it. I mean, you can see that obviously it's not going to stay these colors. Um, even though I really, really dig this teal and pink. <laughs> it's like, it, it has seriously grown on me in the last few days. Like, it wasn't, it was never meant to stay these colors, but honestly, these, they really work together. Even the dark blue, the navy blue in here really does go with it. Now, this kind of blue stands out against it, but it is what it is. So, this thing will more than likely be a variation of different dark grays. Heh, <laughs> grays. I just thought about that. And, uh, probably some, uh, yellow or red doing with these vents here. And then the blade, you know, the blades are probably going to be, you know, uh, probably gunmetal with silver edge, something like that. I haven't quite decided exactly how it's going to look. Now, mind you, like I said, construction is not complete. It's about 90%. I've got a few things here. And, of course, i got a lot of nub cleanup to do. I can do that. For the most part, every bit of the armor is removable. Um, there's a couple places that uh, I'm kind of questionable, but... Hopefully I put it in such a way that I can get it off to paint it. You can see here I took the Schwab Grays of normally claw hand, used two other parts of a uh, the Grays rifle, and made it just a wrist-mounted Vulcan kind of shooter. And I really, really like this guy. And like I said, you know, it's the Grays Kai Bata or uh, Bata Kai, something like that. Or the uh, Kaibata Grays, something like that. In the ways, you know, I'm really like the grasshopper idea. I was going to go cricket, but cricket in Japanese is cricketo. <laughs> they don't really have a Japanese ver word for it, but I love these big, long swords. And like I said, they're very much like a grasshopper's wings or legs, just the way they do it. And I even came up with the idea that if you hear the song of this grasshopper, you're already dead. So that's just, you know, something I've kind of playing with now I, you know, I'm not in any hurry this guy's due by I think it's uh, Halloween so I got a long way to go I really do like these colors and um, if I could recreate this guy I probably would I don't know that I could to be honest there's there's so much uh, carving I've done and you know just and of course just gluing lots and lots of gluing I kind of wanted to modify these a little bit I might trim this down so it's not as pointy at the top um, I really do like this particular crotch, but with different side skirts that can actually move. But I totally understand now why they made those a front plane like it is. The normal uh, normal Gray's crotch armor here um, does allow for things to move so much easier. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting flimmy, guys. I'm not a pollen in the air. So that's about it. The only other thing I kind of want to mess with is get some... Uh, different armor for the back of the arms or maybe just add something there i wish i had another gray's ritter i would totally just steal that i love the uh the uh bicep armor for the gray's ritter i guess realistically i need to look at the kit because if it does have this kind of armor for the gray's ritter like left over i'll just rob the uh, gray's ritter that i have of the uh of the uh, back of the arm there 
So I wanted it to be kind of angular and kind of curvy at the same time. So curvy where it mattered, you know, like you like your women. <laughs> Sorry if that's sexist, but it's true. So you got the little bit of curviness. I almost went with the Grace Kai square head. Um, but I, this something about this head really spoke to me. It just it looks a little bit more evil, you know. And then in some ways I was kind of going for almost a Decepticon kind of look with these shoulders, and I think I accomplished it really. It does not want to lean in the right direction. It has a kind of a backwards lean. Now of course I did actually engineer these shoulders with the normal things, so they can move accordingly. So you can get a great shot like this oh and the other thing i wanted to do i forgot i'm going to add a couple thrusters right here onto the shoulders so you can get them really tucked up like that or you get the very nice look there i'm going to go ahead and put it back on the stand because it's a weird angle right now now mind you like i said i'm going to try to do a build a bit more of a build log from here on out maybe video when i get around to painting and final construction and stuff but that's kind of it, you know. This isn't a real review so much as a just showing off, I'm sorry. But, you know, I do like to make customs. I do like to make kit bashes. I've done a few. And actually, if you give me a second, I will get my other IBO kit bash. And, I mean, it's not totally IBO, but it'll sort of go with this kit realistically. Just showing it off a little bit here. Got a backup. He's up on a big stand. And it's my Demon King Barbatos. And it's a kit bash of the Barbatos with uh, Kabakali from um, uh, G Reco. While I'm not a G Reco fan, I am a Kabakali fan. It just looks like an evil vampire bat thing. So that's what I was going for. And then I added some extra cool details to this guy, along with giving him the giant sword here from the uh, throne. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, dry. And just just show it off just a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna go into big details, but you can see back here. I love this backpack. I engineered this backpack from a Barbatos chest, so you actually get amazing articulation here between these armor slash uh, you know wings, and then of course the nice little booster there. All right, but that's enough of that. I just wanted to show off some of these builds, and I have not. Uh, nailed down a color scheme for this guy just yet because I actually kind of dig these grays and whites that it's supposed to be. It's kind of what I wanted in the first place. So between these two, I've got a fun, well, that's an interesting battle scene. There we go. I've got a whole story where these two are going to have to fight, right? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys maybe get a little bit inspired and want to build your own customs and kit bashes. This guy, I mean, not to brag, I put it together in a day. <laughs> it's like, uh, this one took me a bit longer. I had to figure out how to engineer things and make sure they work all together and you can see the extra parts. But this one, using only Gray's parts and a few extra bits laying around, I basically got done in a day at this point. Super glue works wonders, guys, but if you're gonna use super glue, make sure you get into the set. All right, that's it for this. Check out all the other reviews I do. Check out the quickies and make sure you keep track of this build log as I go. Uh, I'll do what I can to record it. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Remember to keep on building.